All right, I tell you, meteorologist Edward Shaw joins us now because we're still tracking Hurricane Aaron. It's off the southeastern coast today, and it is prompting some mandatory evacuations and a tropical storm watch in parts of North Carolina. You've got some interesting stuff here on the on the board. Indeed, us. certainly an impactful storm, even though it hasn't hit the coast technically yet. But look at this satellite video from the Cooperative Institute for Research in the Atmosphere at Colorado State University or CIRA CSU. It captured lightning strikes near the eye of the hurricane. And you can see it's really starting to get intense here, John, with yeah. the amount of lightning with this. And even though it had a lot of lightning, it's starting to actually weaken a little bit as it gets into a less favorable environment. But still going to be impactful, especially for the Carolinas. Is that lightning typical for the near the eye of a hurricane? At any, it is. In any hurricane? It is. Usually yeah. in the eye wall, that's where you have a lot of the strongest yeah. weather and some of the most severe weather, in fact. So having a lot of lightning there, not all that surprising, but that amount shows how strong this storm has been over the past few hours. Let's take a look at how exactly the storm is going to play out here. As you can see right now, currently a Category 2 storm expected to maintain Category 2 status here within the next few hours and the next few days as it comes past the Mid-Atlantic. But overall, what we're going to be tracking is a pretty significant risk when it comes to rip currents along the eastern coast, anywhere from all the way up to Gloucester down to Vero Beach. Just given the fact that this storm could create some waves that are very high and some pretty dangerous rip currents as well. So keep that in mind if you do have plans to head to the beach anytime within the next few days, as we could end up seeing waves between 20 and 30 feet, especially along the Carolina coast. There's been multiple mandatory evacuations down towards Road Anthony and Ocracoke Island. It's areas such as Road Anthony, well, it's where a lot of those houses have gone into the sea, so it's going to be interesting to watch what happens there with this storm. As for locally, well, we're in the 80s right now and the 70s further to the east, starting to see a little bit of that cloud cover dissipate throughout the region. But we're going to be tracking exactly how Aaron's going to be influencing the overall pattern of what we'll see here over the next few days. But with a storm that powerful off the coast, coastal areas certainly going to want to be careful after those rip currents take effect. John.